everyone. I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the privilege, the honor of bringing you guys 12 Tarot and Oracle reads. Yes. Okay. I am so blessed. Thank you, Mr. Nicole and Spiritual Guidance Academy for this beautiful opportunity. Okay. Also, you guys, please do subscribe here to the channel, Spiritual Guidance, okay? Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the video, okay? A thumbs up, okay? Do that for us. Also, getting into the spread. This is a spread that the Divine Holy Spirit gave me specifically, exclusively for Spiritual Guidance Academy, okay? Also, tarot energy is fluid, Leave what is not for you. Take only what is resonating with you, okay? Also, you guys, these messages are timeless. So, they, they are meant to reach you whenever they're meant to reach you, okay? So, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to open up this read with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, okay? This is going to tell me about surrounding energies around you, okay? Who is coming in to help you at this time? Okay, what's going on for Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies, Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Allow me to tap into the collective's energies. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Okay, let's see what's coming out. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What's coming out? Thank you. Oh, and we have a light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay, so some of you guys are, you know, um, just now awakening to your purpose. Okay, light activation. You've been activated. Okay, you've had an awakening of some sort. Okay, you're just beaming right now. I feel your entire guidance is coming through loud and clear. I just, you know, I just something about you right now. I'm feeling is radiating. Okay, it's like I, I feel like you're beaming with knowledge. You're beaming with purpose. You're beaming with joy right now is what I'm getting off of this right here. Okay. Or I feel like you, you, you've walked into a call and you've walked in a purpose and it's just suiting you very well, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Okay? So I'm going to go in with the soul's journey deck and we're going to see what soul lesson is coming out. Okay, which you might need to pay attention to. Okay, something you may or may not be aware of. Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I'm resonating with either now or at the later date. What is coming through? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming through? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit, what's coming through for the collective that I'm resonating with? Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Spirit says, don't take the back of the deck. Okay. So, grief shot out all the way across the table. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. And for some of you guys, I'm reading this energy. Okay, two different ways, okay, for some of you, I'm reading this energy as, you know, something is, you know, something that you were grief stricken about, you learned a lot from it, okay, and you're just taking off out of here, okay, and others of you, I feel like you're learning this process, you're, you're needing to let go of something, 
Okay. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. And no matter what the situation was, there was something to be learned. The divine Holy Spirit is giving me out of this situation. Okay. Then we also have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. We have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, and for some of you, I'm getting heart conditions off of this as well. Okay, I'm 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 hearing something you may have went through was has taken a toll on you physically, like maybe a loss of someone, an accident, a surgery, or something you went through. Okay, that is really you know is. Because you went through this, I feel like a light has been, something has been activated in you, okay? You know, you're being guided towards something through this ending, like you're facing something, you're overcoming is what I'm feeling, okay? Despite health conditions as well, I'm getting off of this. Some of you, you need, you, you have a fear about going get a checkup, okay? You feel that something is totally wrong but spirit is not giving me that spirit is just giving me that you you're needing to um realize that whatever this is you needing to go to the hospital the doctor get it checked up get it checked on it, it is it may or may not be that serious the spirit is not giving me anything like horrible or anything like that they're just telling me go to the doctor get it checked up okay so we're gonna go in With an affirmation, okay, archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. I do feel a release, though. I don't feel any heavy energy, okay? I feel a moving forward energy. I feel like, um, you know, a vibrating high energy. This is not a low vibrating energy at all that I'm getting, okay? It's just like putting things into action, okay? Overcoming. Yeah, it's a, a feeling of overcoming. Like after you went through something traumatic or you've, you know, come to the realization of something in your life and now you're just, you know, in that path of, okay, this is what's going on. I'm okay. You know, this is what it is. This is how I'm feeling about this. I feel like yeah, I, that's the energy that I'm getting off of this. Okay. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit, what's the affirmation for the collective that I'm reading for? What's the affirmation of, for the collective? Divine Holy Spirit, what's the affirmation for the collective? I am at peace with my sexuality. I rejoice in my sexuality and in my own body. My body is perfect for me in this lifetime. I embrace myself with love and compassion. Okay. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you've just come out. Okay. For some of you, you might be dealing with a health condition. Okay. It's limiting you to some things at this time to experience sexually, but you're being okay with your body. You know, I'm getting something like that off of this. Okay. Um, you know, I'm I'm really like I said, I feel like, you know, there's definitely and something that is in being embraced here. Okay, something that is being realized with this death card. It's something I feel like you guys are moving past. Okay, or getting ready to move past because with this death, I feel like you move past grief and fear. You know, for some of you, it has something to do around your health. Okay. Spirit wants me to get one more divine horse. Spirit, give me another affirmation for the collective. Thank you. And it came right over grief. 
and it says, I release all criticism. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. Okay, I'm getting a same-sex situation that's going on here. Okay, I'm getting someone is being now comfortable, is now beginning to be comfortable with their sexuality here. Okay, you may have lost someone because of their sexuality or something like that. I'm getting off of this as well. Yeah, I definitely feel, you know, um, some heaviness here with these affirmations. These affirmations are, you know, about confirming with oneself, okay, loving oneself, one's body, okay, not criticizing, embracing, okay, just like with this death card is embracing, okay. I definitely feel an embracing going on here. An embracing and a releasing. Okay? And maybe because of this embracing and releasing, you, you've been activated. Like you're shining, you know, a little bit different. You know, it's not the kind of shining like, you know, you, you're wearing like the finest clothes or you dress to kill or anything like that. It's like a feeling with inside yourself, I feel. Okay, so we're going to go in with the wisdom of the oracle. And we're going to get three different messages. We're going to get one from the higher self. We're going to get one from the ancestors. And we're going to get one from the guardian angels, okay? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What is the message that is coming through from the higher self for the collective? Our angels, ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What is the message that's coming through from myself, the ancestors, and the guardian angels for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, the Divine Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit is coming through from the higher self. Thank you. And we have chop wood. Okay. And this is all about cleaning up a situation. Okay. I feel like there is something here. You know, um, dealing with the body, dealing with sexuality, dealing with, you know, criticizing yourself or maybe something you went through. You, you, you criticize yourself heavily or something took a toll on you health wise is what I'm getting here. OK, and I'm, I'm hearing I'm feeling also the spirit is saying there is a situation here that needs to be cleaned up. Your higher self knows exactly what I'm talking about It's taking a physical toll on your health for some of you you know i feel like this is a very specific message okay the way that you're living your sexuality for some of you okay spirit is giving me a double life here as well okay you may have lost someone because of this, someone that you were really attached to because you are afraid to be just who you are is what I'm getting as well. So your higher self is wanting you to clean up a situation here. Okay. And the situation that I'm getting that the divine Holy Spirit is saying is, is, is having to do with this ending. It's something that needs to be cleared up. And it may be a fear around that or a hurt around that, okay? But you have been activated and I feel like the collective that I've been talking to is, is very spiritual. You're spiritual individuals. So with this chop wood call, your higher self, you know exactly what it is that I'm speaking of without having to go into intricate details. It's what Divine Holy Spirit is giving me. And we'll go in with a spread and then tarot on top of this as well okay archangels ancestors father god divine holy spirit what's the message from the ancestors what's 
the message. Thank you. And we have deep knowing. Okay. And I just said that. I just said I really feel like, you know, you guys are some spiritual people. Okay. This is a collective that's in tune. And they're coming into or you're on your awakening path and you're recognizing stuff and you're getting so much knowledge. Okay. I feel like something is just opening up for you. Light activation. Deep knowing. Okay. This is a sense of purpose. A sense of who you are. A sense of, you know, what it is that you're here to do. Okay. Allowing the divine Holy Spirit to guide you. Okay, but there is still some situation, you know, that needs to be cleaned up. Okay, and with this deep knowing, I feel like the divine Holy Spirit, your spiritual team, my spiritual team is bringing it together for you. Okay, divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Thank you. And we have mending. Yeah, this is about accepting something, healing something, and taking something for as it is. Okay, and it's just like I said, it's it's cleaning up and mending. Okay, it's is you know when a wound is infected and they have to go in and they have to clean it out and then they have to pack it and then they have to mend it together. Okay. That's something like, I feel like what this situation is here for the collective. Okay. And it's something that, you know, you're very in tune. Okay. Spirit is saying, you know, you really have to clean this up. And release this uh, this criticism of yourself in this situation or of another person. Okay. So, and for some of you, this could be your soulmate. This could be a situation with your soulmate that I'm speaking of. So, we're going to go in with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Okay. And this is going to be a six card spread. Okay. The first card is your energy. The second card is what's grounding you. The third card is your desires, your goals. The fourth card is what you need to let go. The fifth card is where to direct your energy, your intentions. And the sixth card is going to be your advice and your outcome. Now, with the fourth card out, the energy of what you need to let go it is going to be more so around a situation a person, a place, a thing, okay, and something that's going to come in and assist you within letting that go, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, this is for the collective that I'm resonating with. Allow me to tap into their energies, what is coming through. Okay, let's cut. Let's see what's coming out. Divine Holy Spirit, where is the energy of the collective that I'm waiting for right now? Thank you. And we have releasing the old and rest. Okay. A lot of that mending. Okay. A lot of that deep knowing. A lot of that chop wood, cleaning something up, releasing it, cleaning it up, healing it, resting. Okay. Being at peace, okay. For some of you guys, there is something that you're looking forward to around the fall time. It's something you like about this fall time. I'm getting as well. I'm getting you like you're released. Some of you are releasing some very toxic addictions, some a very toxic way of thinking about yourself at this time, okay. Yeah, I feel like you're releasing, you're cutting cords. Like, I feel like a dark energy, like you, uh, for the collective, is moving from out of a dark energy or a dark energy that maybe was trying to be cast upon you or something like that. You know, Spirit is not wanting me to go too far into that card, just leaving it at that, okay? So, Divine Holy Spirit, what is grounding the collective? What is grounding the collective at this time? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What is grounding the collective? Thank you. And we have water guardian. Connect with your emotions. 
Okay, and I really feel like that's that deep knowing right there. Okay, connecting with your emotions, allowing your emotions to flow. Okay, at this time with this deep knowing right here. Okay, with your ancestors coming through and I feel like they're about to take you through something right now. So it's, it's good that you're in this space of releasing. So because when you release, then they're able to put in that you're able to receive. Okay, so that's a beautiful energy right there. Okay, beautiful energy. I'm getting with this. With this water back here, I'm getting a cleansing energy, a detox energy. Some of you may be detoxing right now or thinking about going on a detox. Spirit is saying that's a good idea. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the goals and the desires? Thank you. And we have stand your ground. And we have the mountains here. And I feel like this is sticking to what you say. Sticking to what you know is right. Sticking to your path. Okay. Sticking to being at peace with who you are. Um, really standing your ground and, and receiving clarity. I feel like you're just on the path of just, you know, wanting to soak up all the knowledge that you can is what I'm getting in this. You want to soak up all the knowledge that you can to release something, to move on from something, to really heal from something. I'm getting the collective is really wanting to heal and release and, and move on from something, okay? So what is, what do they need to let go of? What can you get around with the collective? Thank you. And we have shape shifter, transform and unveil your gifts, trust in a higher force. Okay, I feel like with your ancestors coming out that deep knowing, okay, is trusting in what you're receiving, no matter how it may sound. You know, because you're doing the work, you're cleaning it up, you're releasing, okay? You're learning that endings are merely beginnings, you're starting over, you're receiving it, okay? And I feel like that's the energy that you need to let go of is not trusting in that, not trusting in your gifts and not letting your gifts transform you, okay? Something may be blocking you at this time from really just walking in your purpose you know because i really feel like a light activation you're being activated okay not as if you're already activated okay but you're walking you're walking into something it's just that it's something that you're needing to clean up so that the spirit divine holy spirit source universe however you resonate with the most high creator of all things can deposit more into you is what i'm getting off of the spread divine holy spirit what is coming through for okay we have where to direct your energy and intentions honor your deep knowing honor your inner knowing okay and isn't your inner knowing a deep knowing right here okay so that energy is coming out twice Okay, your ancestors, some for some of you, or you're wanting to honor them, you're needing to honor them. For some of you, you need to make an ancestor altar. altar. Okay, or for some of you, you have one. If it's not clean, you're needing to clean it up, freshen it up. Okay, for some of you, it would not be a bad idea to create a little space for an ancestor altar. Okay, Divine Holy Spirit. What is the energy around... Okay, and we have unleashed the wild within. Okay, also coming out as where you need to direct your energy. Okay, and I feel like that is just that inner you, that inner confidence, that light that shines. Okay, your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Okay, you're wanting something, you're wanting them to step in, you're wanting to transform, you're wanting your gifts, you're wanting to unleash something for some of you. There's going to be divine counterparts. You're walking into union with your divine counterparts, okay? And I'm also seeing a lot of same-sex relationships here as well, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming through for the advice? Divine Holy Spirit, what's coming through for the advice? What's coming through for the advice? Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. And we have Medicine Guardian. Be open to healing information. 
Okay? Be open to what's coming through. Okay? Be, be able to receive. Okay? So we're going to go in with a three-card spread. Past, present, future energy. And then we might get into an advice card. Okay? Definitely a lot of angels are around the collective right now. And, and you have even more angels. I feel dispatched around your heart right now okay around mending your ancestors is around you mending some things right now bringing you some clarity washing away something and then healing it okay is reminding me back to about that wound that i was talking about i feel like something is clearing up okay I feel like your ancestors is definitely stepping in the strength card I've been at the back of the deck since I've been shuffling okay so you guys are definitely walking in power here. Okay, you guys are definitely walking in your strength here. I'm loving this despite whatever it is you're overcoming or needing to clean up. Okay, keep putting in the work. Keep perfecting at it. Keep walking at it. Okay, Spirit says off the top, we have Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, I mean Page of Cups, and Advice is the Hermit. Okay, for a lot of you guys, I feel like there is something that is going on that you're needing to hold on to that is healing you, that is working for you, that is helping you release. For others of you, you've come from a, you know, a ten of wands past, okay, where you've tried so many times to do so many things and put your heart out there on the line and try to make something work and try to go after something and it just failed and now you're releasing all that of the past that you tried to make work and didn't. Okay, and now you're moving into this energy of healing and releasing and being able to receive and actually doing the work. And spirit is wanting you to hold on to that energy right there. Okay, for some of you, this is a battle about, you know, just releasing burdens. Okay, and being receptive to new, being receptive to fresh healing information, connecting with your emotions. Okay, Paige, starting off small. Okay, allowing the divine Holy Spirit to work with you, move with you, grow with you. Okay, and then you know that hermit energy right there. Okay, I feel a lot of that hermit energy flowing all through here because for sometimes work like this, you have to get off to yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just clarify this four of pentacles energy, divine Holy Spirit. What is this four of pentacles energy? This present energy for us. The collective I may be reading for. Okay, we have the King of Swords. Divine Holy Spirit. What else is coming through for the collective? That I may be reading for. Archangels, ancestors. Thank you, Father God, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you. We have the Two of Wands. I mean, the Three of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords. Okay. And I really feel like, you know, you're standing your ground on something. You're not going back to a certain person. Okay, even though they're trying to come in, you're standing your ground. You're standing firm on moving forward on something with this three of wands energy. You're having no nonsense. There is a rebirth that's happening in your mind. You're taking control over what it is you want. You're sticking to your guns. You're going after what you want. You will not be moved. Okay, it's the energy that I'm getting off of this right here. Like, uh-uh, no. And anybody from the past, I'm not seeing you dealing with anybody from the past right now in this present energy. I feel everything is all about what is next. What is the next move? How can I do this better? You're, you're thinking very uh, logical. You're thinking with a very clear um a very clear uh, intentions. Like I feel like you know what you want. Stand your ground. Okay. That four pinnacles along with that is coming out right above that right there. And this deep knowing. Hold on to that. Don't let that go right now is what spirit is giving me. Okay. So I'm going to get some energy around this page of cups. Because this future energy. Divine Holy Spirit. Okay. We have justice. Divine Holy Spirit. What is coming out? This page of cups. Four of Wands, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming out for this Page of Cups? The Hierophant, Divine Holy Spirit, what is coming out for this 
Okay, and we have the nine of wands. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of balance that's about to come in for you. This new way of communicating, this new way of being. Okay, you're about to come into union with the divine Holy Spirit and your true self. You're about to be alone. Spirit is going to separate you from some people. Okay, and you might be on the defense about it. Okay, but you know, I really do feel like this collective is going to allow the divine Holy Spirit in to really talk to them to mend some things that you know is really deep down in their sexuality criticism of oneself being involved with a relationship with someone you know who um maybe was abusing you verbally or mentally okay really didn't have much to offer you okay and for others of you, I feel like after waiting for so long and being, you know, um, out of union with someone for so long, this is for people who haven't been with someone in a long time. You're going to come into union with someone. Someone balanced new love is coming in. This is divinely guided here. This person is meant for you, but you're going to be kind of on the defense about it. Okay, so I'm going to leave that with that, honey. I'm sending nothing but love and light to you guys. Okay, please hit that like button. Please subscribe here. Spiritual Goddess Academy. Come check me out on my um channel, Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle. Okay, you guys, until next time. Bye, y'all.